In this video, I am currently two weeks away from giving birth, and this is a part of my rising routine that just made me feel strong and comfortable in my body. Played a significant role in me having a easy, natural, beautiful birth and delivery. I filmed this as a follow along video and I am currently 38 weeks pregnant. I did work out for majority of my pregnancy so this was definitely within my pace. I'm gonna be using resistance bands, ankle weights, as well as free weights but obviously go at your own pace. I'm gonna start off with warming up with doing some calf raises. I also want to say that I was always super intentional with what I listened to during my rising routine, whether that be stretching or working out. Been a lots of time listening to my birthing playlist or listening to easy, natural pregnancy affirmations, or if I was just in a mood where I was feeling myself and wanted to listen to some music, I always made sure that I was doing and honoring my body. So I say that to say I strongly encourage you to maybe listen to this video once, but if this is something that you wanna do on a weekly or daily basis, just go ahead and mute me, pay attention to the timer, and put on your own playlist, your own affirmations, or your own favorite audiobooks. Let's get it. Coming up on my first 15 second break, I'm gonna be heading into my first single leg calf raise. It might be good to have a chair or something that you could hold on to for balance, or you can even use the wall like I did in the video. definitely feeling the burn we're gonna take this a 15 second rest and then get ready to do a single leg calf raise on the opposite side making sure that we're following along with the right pace that's best for each person and having deep breaths Next workout I'm going to be doing is lateral side steps, so I'm going to make sure that I am taking in as many deep breaths as I can, and once again I am following at my own pace and making sure that I'm breathing. again I have been doing these workouts since the beginning of my pregnancy so I can handle doing resistance bands as well as ankle weights but obviously do this at your own pace and what feels best comfortable and empowering for you.
This next workout, I'm gonna go ahead and drop my resistance bands for a wider sumo squat, but just for a little bit more of a challenge, I am going to be using a dumbbell and making sure I take my breaths in between these rest periods. As you're working out, make sure, when I'm working out, I always like to be very intentional with what I'm listening to, whether it's music that makes me feel good or affirmations or a guided meditation that makes me feel strong in my body and just preparing for an easy and effortless, beautiful birth. But yes, take this time for self-care and to enjoy what you're hearing, listening to an audiobook, listening to your favorite song, or maybe even your birth playlist. In between my rest periods, I always like to thank my body and also talk to my body, listen to my body, and see what my body is actually needing. Does my baby seem happy and comfortable? Am I breathing deeper? Am I being very intentional with my body? Take all of the time. This should really be a form of self-care and self-love for you and your baby. I'm about halfway into my workout and this is when the influx of energy just goes through my whole body. I'm feeling good, my baby's feeling good, and I'm just going ahead and starting on having a really great day. I'll be heading into my last few workouts before I do a cool down and this is where it gets really challenging laying on one side keeping my resistance band on and my ankle weights to do leg raises.
and I will be repeating the same thing for the opposite side. This definitely is the more challenging part of the workout, so I always make sure that I'm breathing deeply and I'm pacing myself, so if I need to take off a resistance band or ankle weight, I always honor that. For these last few breaks, I will be closing it out with cool down exercises, making sure that I'm stretching and I'm catching my breath. It's really comfortable for me to go in circular motions while I'm sitting down and while I'm standing up. And these are always the perfect active cool down exercises that allow my body to catch up with my breath and close out my workout. On the research that I've done, this next cool down is great for the baby to be head down and it also promotes a easy and effortless birthing process. So I always make sure I'm doing this for a minimum of one minute to five minutes throughout the entire day. And that is it for my pregnancy workout. I have about five of these videos, so you will see them roll out, or you can go ahead and click and watch this playlist if it is later and I've already posted these videos. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next upload. Bisous!